Hello, I'm Tejas, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how you can grant public access to only some objects in your Amazon S3 bucket. Let's get started. There are four different ways in which you can achieve this. Update the object's ACLs using the Amazon S3 console. Update the object's ACL using the AWS command line interface. Use a bucket policy that grants public read access to a specific object tag. Use a bucket policy that grants public read access to a specific prefix. Before we begin, let's confirm that we don't have any block public access settings at the account level or at the bucket level that prevent us from making the objects public. By default, block public access settings are set to true on new S3 buckets. Let's turn this off by following these steps. First, let's turn off block public access settings at the bucket level. Navigate to S3 console and choose the bucket which contains objects that you want to make public. Choose permissions tab. Now you can see block public access bucket settings is turned on by default. This is true for all new buckets that were created through the S3 console. Choose edit and then uncheck the box that says block all public access. Choose save changes enter confirm and then choose confirm. So now we turned off block public access settings at the bucket level. Now let's turn off block public access settings at the account level. Navigate to your S3 console. The left hand column displays account settings for block public access. Choose that. Make sure that account settings for block public access is turned off. If block all public access shows on, then make sure to choose edit and then uncheck the block all public access feature. Save the changes just like we did at the bucket level. Now that we have verified that the block public access settings both at the bucket level and account level are turned off, let's see how to make some of the objects in this bucket public. The first method to make some objects public in your bucket is by updating the objects ACL in the S3 console. Open the Amazon S3 console. From the list of buckets, choose the bucket with the objects that you want to update. Navigate to the folder that contains the objects. From the object list, select all the objects that you want to make public. Choose actions and then choose make public. Now choose make public you will get a pop-up screen that says successfully edited public access. This means that the objects you selected are made public. If there were any objects that failed to be made public, you'll see this under fail to edit public access section. To make an individual object public, follow these steps. From the Amazon S3 console, choose the bucket with the object that you want to update. Navigate to the folder that contains the object. Click on the object. Navigate to the ACL section. Click on edit. Now under everyone public access select read object. Check the warning box shown here. Now scroll down and click on save changes. This makes this individual object public. The second method to make some objects public in your bucket is to update the objects ACL using the AWS CLI. For an object that you have already stored in your Amazon S3 bucket, you can run this command to update its ACL for public read access. Or if you have uploaded an object to cross account bucket, you can run this command to grant full control of the objects to the cross account owner and read access to everyone else. For the value of dash dash grant full control, enter the cross account's canonical user ID. The third way to make some objects public in your bucket is to use a bucket policy. Use a bucket policy that grants public read access to a specific object tag. First, add a bucket policy that allows public read access to any objects with a specific tag. For example, this policy allows public read access for any object that's tagged with the key value pair public S. Yes. Then add the tag to the objects that you want to be publicly readable. You can add object tags by using the Amazon S3 console or you can use the AWS CLI. First, let's see how to add tags using the console. 
From the Amazon S3 console, choose the bucket with the object that you want to update. Navigate to the folder that contains the object. Click on the object. Now navigate to Tax section. Click on Edit. Choose Add Tag. For key value pair, give the key value pair that you specified on the bucket policy to be public. That is public yes in my case. Now click on save changes. Now that you have made the object public, you can check this by choosing the object URL in the details section of the object. Let's see how to add tags using the AWS CLI. First, we need to check if an object has any existing tag by running this AWS CLI command. Now we see this object has two existing tags on it. So we need to make a note of the existing tag values. So that when we are adding our new tag, we need to add the existing values too. This is because the put object tagging command will overwrite the existing object tags. In this command, I have added the two existing tag values that were applied on the object previously and then added my new tag value too. After you add the object tag, run this command to review all the tags of the objects. To add a tag to an object that doesn't have any existing tags, run this command. Warning, this command overwrites any existing object tags. The fourth and the last method of making some objects public in your bucket is to use a policy that grants access by a specific prefix. To grant public read access to a specific object prefix, add a bucket policy similar to the following. So this bucket policy makes any objects uploaded to this prefix public. Then copy the objects you want to make public into this prefix. You can copy an object into the prefix by running a command similar to the following. So now you know some of the ways you can use to make a certain object or multiple objects public in an S3 bucket. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.